Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Burning Eyes Tech Channel, where we learn something new every day. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a short video on how exactly you can go about disappearing on camera in a Zoom meeting. Now, first of all, there's actually many ways you can go about doing this. I'm going to show you the OBS method. Now, the reason I choose this method is because it's free software and it's easy to go and do without any watermarks. There's many other softwares you can go and use to go and get this done. For example, many cams. The reason I prefer not to use many cams is it normally tends to give you a watermark at the bottom. And that normally kind of gives away what you're trying to pull here. And that just kind of ruins the whole trick. So to avoid any watermarks and to avoid you struggling with anything, I'm going to go and use OBS. So for those of you that want to go and download the OBS software, I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. Alternatively, just run a search in Google and you will find it. All right, so I've already gone and installed the OBS software, as you can see. Hi, guys. That's me. And I've already gone and created what I actually need for this exercise, but I will show you how I achieved that. Now, OBS does tap into your web camera, as you can see. So at the bottom left here, you've got this little block called Scenes. And if I were to go click on this little block that says Scenes, it's going to allow me to switch between scenes. Some of them could be a live camera. It could be a pre-recorded uh, recording of your webcam. It could be a video. It could be anything. So the first thing you're going to want to go and do is create a scene, which is going to tap into your web camera. So that's going to be the first one I created there that's called camera. You can call it whatever you want. So how I did this is I went and clicked on add. You can call this whatever you want. I called mine camera. You can call it your webcam. You can call it live feed if you want to. So let's just call it live feed. I'm going to click on OK. All right. So now we've got a scene. Once you've got a scene, you need to give this scene a source, which could be a pre-recorded video. It could be a loop. It could be some other random funny video. So I'm going to link this up to my real live web camera. How I do that is by going to the little source block here at the bottom left. You click on the little plus sign. And notice how many options we actually have to choose from. There's quite a lot. The ones I'm going to be using today is this one that says video capture device for the live webcam. And then the media source for, for the videos and the recordings and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go click on video capture device. You choose create new. And after you click on OK, it should automatically tap into your webcam. So I'm just going to click on cancel because I already have that. Don't want it to mess around with my existing stuff. Now, as for the second one, I'm going to use a pre-recorded loop. Now you can see if I were to go click on this one that says camera, which is basically my live web camera, it's going to look like I'm transitioning into the frame, like I'm fading in or fading out. So if I click on the camera, check what happens. Hi. And if I click on the loop, I disappear. As easy as that. So that's how you do the disappear effect via OBS, but we're going to link this now to Zoom in a moment. And this trick actually does work on Microsoft Teams as well, for those of you that's wondering. It's exactly the same steps for the most part. All right, so now how did I create this loop? You'll notice way on the right-hand side, there's a button here, fed from, from the top, say start recording. So for this stunt, you're going to have to go out of the frame for a few seconds, anywhere between 5 and 10 seconds. I think mine's roughly about 10 seconds, somewhere around there. So step out of the frame for about 10 seconds, and as soon as you step out of the frame, you're going to click on a button that says start recording. As soon as it starts recording, you can basically count down to 5 or 10. And once it's done, you just click on the same button. You'll see as soon as you click on start recording, the button is going to change to stop recording. You just click on the same button, the recording will stop. As easy as that. Now, what you're going to go and do is you're going to go make a new scene on the bottom left. Call it whatever you want. You can see I called mine recorded loop. So you can just call it recording. I'm just going to call it recording now, but you can actually call it whatever you want, as long as you know what it is. Okay. You need to give it a source. This time we're not going to use the live webcam. Go to media source. Create new. Okay. All right. On this menu, what you guys are going to go and do is you're going to go click on browse. Now you'll notice this browse button is going to take you to your videos folder by default. That's where it saves these recordings. If it does not take you to your videos folder, just browse to your videos folder. That's where the recordings are by default, unless you've changed it afterwards. I've changed mine afterwards. Mine saves somewhere else on my PC. So you just browse to where the recording is, which is most likely your videos folder. And once you find that recording, that 5 second, 10 second recording of you out of the frame, you click on that option. And once you've got it in here, Preferably click on the loop. Otherwise, this trick is only going to work for about 5 or 10 seconds. Loop it because they're not going to be able to see the difference. Make sure you click on the block that says loop. All right, so I'm going to click on cancel. 
As soon as you've done that, you can effectively actually go and start playing with this. So you're going to click on the option here. It says start virtual camera. I'm going to click on mine. And now it's almost as if you've got two cameras on your, cam on your PC, the webcam and this camera. So when you go to your browser of choice, when you go to Zoom, when you go to Microsoft Teams or anything else for that matter, basically uses a camera, you will normally have a choice to go and choose between the normal camera or to go and use this virtual camera. It's normally listed as OBS virtual camera. So what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to flip over to Zoom. All right, guys. So here I am on Zoom. I've established a random Zoom session at the right hand side. This is currently just me, myself and I, nobody else. And at the moment, it's tapped into my OBS uh, webcam. Now, how you go and switch between webcams, if need be, on the Zoom site, you can see I currently have my video started. So the bottom left in Zoom, it allows you to choose between your webcams. So you can see there it says my real webcam, and there it says OBS virtual camera. So at the moment, I've got virtual camera on, as you can see here on the OBS on the left-hand side, it says stop virtual camera, which means it's running currently. Now, if I want my people on Zoom to be able to see something else other than me, my live webcam, I can go and click on the little clip that I've pre-recorded where I fed out of the scene. And here it is on the left-hand side. So that's my pre-recorded clip. I'm going to go and delete this one first. You can see this one's currently blank. I never actually linked it to anything. So at the moment, it's blank, so they see nothing on Zoom. So I'm just going to remove that. All right, so at the moment, if I click on that pre-recorded loop, that's what they see, the loop. It looks like I'm out of the frame, but if I click on camera, it's going to switch back to me. Notice how I faded in. If I click on the loop, pretty easy, pretty simple, isn't it, guys? All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Now, what I've also done as an extra here, you might have seen there's a third scene here at the bottom left, which you might have been wondering what the heck that is. It's just a random video to show you that you can actually go and pull a lot of trolling and a lot of pranks here on Zoom if you want to. Once again, it works on other platforms as well. So this is a random video of Mark Zuckerberg. Check it out. So I've muted this for obvious reasons, otherwise they're gonna strike me. But check it out. I can play a video via Zoom and I can make it look like I'm somebody else. You can do this with just about anything. You can go and put a video of someone else, a celebrity, and it's gonna look like there's some random celebrity joining the Zoom session or the Microsoft Teams session or whatever you're using at that point in time because this trick actually works on pretty much anything. And it kind of freaks people out. So never mind fading out of the scene, you can freak people out. So there I am, can make myself fade, can make a celebrity pop up if I want to. Now, if you want the fading to be smoother, how you get that done is by changing here at the bottom left um, in OBS where it says fade. If it does not say fade, just make sure you choose the option that says fade. And then also here at duration, you'll see the default is normally about 300 milliseconds. I've seen the sweet spot is about 500 to 700, preferably about 700 milliseconds. That's going to make the fade slower and smoother. If it's 300 milliseconds, it's just too quick. It's going to look like a, like a cut. It doesn't really look smooth. It doesn't look like an actual special fading effect, is what I would say. All right, guys. So that is how you disappear on Zoom using the OBS software. You can also go and do this on Microsoft Teams. Pretty much the same story. If you feel this video has been helpful, please give the video a like and also maybe consider subscribing. It does help me quite a lot. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. If you love me, let me know mm -hmm. If you don't, then let me know